Today, I'm gonna to introduce to you the PP768. I'm gonna walk you through some of the features and tell you why this is an amazing way to run your Bixby motors. The PP768 is in addition to our existing PP378 batteries that we've been shipping along with the J1 and J2 motors for years now. This battery is obviously bigger, it lasts a lot longer, so you can troll about 24 hours at the so, sort of slower trolling speeds and uh, just over two hours at full speed with this battery. Now, speaking of full speed, this battery also has an additional 13 speed in addition to the 12 speeds that were on the PP378. So now you get an extra boost of about five pounds at the end of the spectrum on this battery. This battery is also really made to last. So we've put everything we know into making sure it's waterproof, it's dustproof, it's salt and fresh water ready. So this is a battery that's gonna last you a long, long time. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the features of this battery and sort of get you to understand our thought process when we were designing this battery. Uh, one of the things you'll notice right off the top is that we've separated the brain from the muscle in this battery. So you can take off the bumper. Once you take off that bumper, you got four screws on the side. The, what we call the brain or the control center for the battery comes off. Um, now this gives us some really good advantages. Uh, one is this is a really long lasting lithium iron phosphate battery. So this, is gonna, this battery is gonna last you years and years. In the future, if we wanna do upgrades, if we wanna service your battery, it's great to be able to take the control center out and either upgrade it or send it back to us for service or, or whatever you need to do with that. Uh, it's great to be able to separate that from each other. The other advantage that that gives us is both this brain and the, the core create generate heat. And if we separate them, we're able to dissipate that heat. Dissipating that heat makes the battery last longer when we're charging it and it's better for the overall life of the battery. Um, aside from that, like I said, if there is a problem, you're able to send us the unit back, we're able to service it or replace it, and you've got a brand new battery again. So I'm gonna talk a little more about the shell that we, uh, we made for this battery. I've got the shell right here. So um, you'll see that we designed the shell of the battery out of anodized aluminum, special coating for UV protection so it won't fade or discolor over time. Uh, we've also incorporated these channels into the side of the battery. Uh, and these channels are on three sides of the battery and uh, they are standard T-bracket channels. So you're able to mount other stuff to this battery. It is a big, heavy 25 pound battery. So it's a great platform for putting your cameras or uh, even rod holders possibly on this battery. Uh, so you'll be able to use those channels. Also, if you wanted to mount the battery onto something later on, you'll be able to use the same channels to do that. So let's cover some of the features of the brain of this battery. So you'll notice right off the bat on top, you have the same output port for the motor as you do with the 378s. So this battery is backwards and forwards compatible with all of our motors. Uh, you'll also notice a much bigger charging port. And the reason for that is we're now putting seven amps of power into this battery. So you're getting this massive battery charged uh, in about five hours. There are no auxiliary ports on this battery uh, to give you 12 or five volt power. Uh, we figure if you're using a battery like this, um, you're, you've got other batteries, you can use one of our auxiliary batteries, of course, uh, to run your uh, fish finder or phones or tablets or whatever else you've got going on. As we go down, you'll notice same kill switch as the 378s. We'll turn on your battery, give you six uh, white LED lights that'll tell you your charge level. Uh, and those lights obviously will start dropping as you're running your motor. Uh, again, uh, you do have that 13, 13 speed on this battery uh, and uh, you'll have over two hours of runtime with that uh, battery for the, for the Bixby motors. Um, remote is the same as the 378s as well. So we have stop, forward and reverse buttons on this. When you get your battery and remote, they will be synced to each other. But if they are for some reason not synced, uh, syncing them is quite easy. Uh, all you need to do is follow a key sequence on the remote. You'll put your kill switch on. You have about 30 seconds to do this key sequence. Stop, 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 forward, reverse, stop. And you'll hear a short beep and you'll know that your remote is now synced to your battery. Um, so that's that for the sort of main features. And uh, what we wanna do now is uh, we're gonna run the motor and show you guys some of the features we've added uh, while the motor is running. As with the PP378, you do have 12 speeds in forward and three speeds in reverse. In this battery, however, we're excited to introduce a 13 speed. That's gonna give you an extra five pounds of power uh, from your existing motor. Um, your motor works with the same remote, 13 speeds forward now, and I'll take you through those and you'll see how, how much better that transition is compared to, uh, to the 378s. So we're at full speed now, and I'm able to bring that right down just as quickly 
And of course, I've got my full stop if I want to make a full stop. Uh, one thing we've added to this that we're also very excited about is what we call a warp speed. So you're able to get to your top speed now with just a double click. So a click and a hold, you'll hear a double beep, and now you're at speed 12 instantly. And we get one more push, and that'll give you the speed 13. Again, full stop, stops the motor, and uh, reverse gets you going in reverse with three speeds in reverse. Of course, we still have the quad uh, click feature, which means if you lose your remote or whatever, uh, for whatever reason you don't have your remote with you, you're able to run this battery at half power using the same magnetic switch that you used to turn the battery on. You leave your kill switch on, and then you do a triple tap where you go one, two, and you'll hear a long beep, and you'll go at about half speed on your motor. So last but not least, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about charging your PP768. And like I said, we do have a big charger that ships with your battery. This is a seven amp charger. It's able to charge this battery under five hours. Uh, you've got your output, your uh, charging input at the top of the battery, and your two prong connector goes in there. And you'll notice as soon as you plug in, uh, your LED light will turn red on your charging brick, and that's indicating that you're charging. And you'll also get the flashing white LEDs on the front panel of your battery. Once the battery is fully charged, that light will turn green uh, on the charging brick, and the lights on your battery will come on, stay on full, reminding you to take your charger off. These are lithium batteries, so you don't want to leave the charger on the battery uh, unless it's being charged. There is no trickle charging, as you know, with the lithium batteries. So that's the end of our presentation, guys. Thank you for listening. Uh, the product is now on our website for sale. So go on there and order yours and uh, see you on the water.